Well, hello guys, I'm Mr. G with another video for the grade 12. We're going to be solving a question related to Doppler effect. This was question 6 from the question paper done in September 2023 in the Eastern Cape. But before that, subscribe for the channel and like the video so you can get the notifications I post on a regular basis. This question says a police van with its sirens on travel at constant speed between two observers. A and B. Observer A detects sound with a frequency of 545 Hz from the siren, while observer B detected the frequency of 615 Hz. State Doppler effect in words. And guys, Doppler effect is always going to be asked in the exam. So let's write the answer here. Question 6.1, the Doppler effect. And here we are. The uh, Doppler effect states that the apparent change or is the apparent change in frequency observed by the listener because the listener and the source have different velocity to the medium of sound propagation. This one is the Doppler effect, guys. Is a definition you have to learn because for sure it is going to be in the exam. It is 100% sure that it is going to be there. Question 6.2. In which direction is police van moving? Choose from towards observer A or towards observer B. Give a reason for your answer. Now, what is happening here? Observer B will detect a greater frequency than observer A. Guys, this is quite simple. It means that the van is moving away from observer A towards observer B. So the answer is towards observer B. What is the reason? Because the frequency detected by observer B is higher than the frequency detected by observer A. So what we have to say, the frequency detected by B is greater than the one detected by A. And that will give us the answer for question 6.2. And note, note the following, guys. This is really, really, really simple. If you stay the definition, which you for sure you have to learn because it's going to be that you already have two marks out of 13. And this one, because it's quite simple, you will have one for saying towards observer B and one for saying that the, the frequency in B or detected by B is greater than A. That is another two marks. You already having four out of 13, which is quite a lot. Now, the speed of sound in A is 346 meters per second. Calculate the frequency of the siren. So for this work, we're going to be using the Doppler effect formula and it's also quite simple to work. However, we have a problem because we have two observers detecting different frequencies, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to take the formulas and we're going to apply that formula for one of the observers first. So let's come here and say question 6.3. Now the formula, as we always do, we're going to go to the formulas. We're going, we're going to look for wave, sound and light. Now note, this one cannot be used because we don't have wavelength, we don't have speed. So we must use then this formula which is the Doppler effect formula. And guys, you are going to write it exactly as it is there. There's one mark for writing that formula exactly as it is there. So don't be fancy, you write it as it is here. There's a frequency of listener is equal to the speed of sound. You can write sound if you want. Plus or minus, let's write it exactly the same. Speed of the listener divided by the speed of a sound plus minus the speed of the source and everything multiplied by the frequency of the source. Okay, so now this is the formula. You are going to write that formula exactly as it is there. And then we are going to apply it for both objects. So I'm going to write here for A, for example. And let's start substituting now. What is the frequency detected by the listener in A? If you go back to the question, that was 545, all right? 500. And 45. This is equal to speed of sound, speed of sound, which in this case they say it is 343, 343 plus minus speed of the listener. However, the listener is not moving, so it's going to be zero. Now we're going to the bottom here, and there is we have to select either plus or minus. 
and you need to know that when the source is moving away you are going to write here a plus so it will be 343 plus speed of uh, detected by the uh, source or in other words, the speed of the source, which is what we are looking for. We don't have that one. And now this one is the frequency produced by the source, which we also don't have. So we have two unknown. This one is the speed produced by the source. We have two unknown. We cannot work on because we don't know what is the frequency produced by the source, the actual frequency. So guys, we have to stop here. And we are going to call this one equation one. Now we are going to do exactly the same, but for the observer B. So we are going to write here for B and we are going to do exactly the same. Same formula applied to B. So what is the frequency detected by the listener B? It is going to be, we go back to the question, go back to the question 615. So it's 600. And 15 is equal to same story. The speed of sound is 343, but the listener is not moving. So divided by when the um, source is moving toward, it's going to be minus. So 343 minus the speed of the source, which we don't know, multiplied by the frequency produced by the source, which we don't know. We stop there because we have two unknown. Okay, we have two unknown and and then this is going to be called equation two. Now I want to show you the secret of the marking here. This question was seven mark guys. Look here. One mark will be for this formula, obvious, if you attempt to continue. There will be one mark for substituting the frequency detected by source A as well as one mark by the frequency detected by source B. There's already three marks. One mark for the substitution of all this side here. That is another mark. And there is another mark for all this substitution here. So there are five marks out of seven in this specific question paper, which means you can get the five mark uh, even if you cannot finish the question for any reason. So now, now it's mathematics. All we have to do and rearrange this one and say, for instance, that Fs will be equal to 545 multiplied by 343 plus Vs divided by 343. Okay? And in this case, will be um, Fs will be equal to 615 multiplied by 343 minus a frequency... Um, speed of the source divided by 343 and then we equate this one here guys so we are going to have that 545 let's calculate that one just to make it easier let's say fs is equal to it will give me 186,935 plus 545 speed of source divided by 343 and this one here this speed of uh, frequency of source in this case will be 210,945 uh, 210,945 minus 615 speed of source divided by 340 Three and now we can equate because it's the same uh, frequency of the source. We can say that so we are there, and then um, as you can see now, the four, 343 can cancel each other. Okay, so that is what we have. And guys, that is simple math. And you will get that the speed of the source here is going to be equal to, let me see, 20,7. 20,7 meters per second. Now, guys, this is not a question. The question is to calculate the frequency produced by the source. Now we are going to take this one and we are going to substitute in either equation one or equation two. 
either one. We don't have to substitute in both of them. You know what? Let's substitute in equation two because we have a space here on top and that is the space we're going to do. But you can then try and substitute in equation one. So here we have 615 equal to bracket 343 divided by 343 minus speed of the source, which is 20,7. There we go, and everything multiplied by the frequency of the source, okay? So everything here is going to be equal to 615 multiplied by 343 minus 20, comma 7 divided by 343, okay? You will get then that the frequency produced by the source was equal to 577,88 Hz. This is the question, the answer for this question here. It's a very good question. Now, that is the final answer. There are two marks missing. One of them by substituting the 20,7 you got here and one for the final answer. Guys, it's a good question. Most of the marks can be gotten by you. It's not a big issue. It's easy. It's very, very easy to get five marks out of seven. And that will be like 70% of, the, of, the, of, the, of that specific question. Now, question 6.4. Spectral lines of certain gas observed from a distant star appears to be red shifted. Explain this observation by referring to the motion of the star and the frequency of the spectral line. And this is very easy. If it's red shifted, it means that it's moving away. Star moving away. All right. How do we know that? Because the spectral line show a decrease in frequency. The spectral line show a decrease in frequency, which is towards the red of the spectrum. Note the following. The star doesn't look red. The spectral line will look red. It moves towards the red. But anyway, guys, this is the question. I hope it helped. It's a very good question with two system of equation. Um, be careful because people attempt to say that double effect is extremely easy, but you see this question is not that easy. However, you uh, easily can get a good mark in the question but thank you for watching i hope it helped thumb up subscribe for the channel i'll see you next time mr g here